Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edgar, and I am here with one of my good friends, Milanesa. <laughs> 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 my good friend, Mila. Right there? I look all Mexican with this. Okay. You do. Please like this video, comment anything you would like for me to film, um, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys soon. Let's get down to this tutorial. No? <laughs> Okay, so first we're going to start with a primer and the one I am using at the moment is by Maybelline and it's a little green it, it just helps counteract all the redness in the skin and I like to distribute that all over the skin using my fingers. Next um, I like to also spray a little bit of Fix Plus onto the skin to just kind of help prime the skin. Um, so on my gorgeous friend Milani, I like to use uh, Studio Fix Foundation Fluid in NC40, I believe. It looks a little bit darker in her skin, but that is just the camera, I believe. Um, that she was a little tan, so that matched perfectly. And I like to just take a beauty sponge. This is from Real Techniques. Um, a little damp and I like to balance that all over her skin. I like to also use this concealer by Maybelline. Um, I'm not sure of the shade but I will have everything in the description box below. And I like to just put that right under the eyes for some highlights. Uh, down the bridge of the nose and the forehead and a little bit of the chin um, and with the same sponge I'm going to go ahead and blend that out I did spray a little bit of Fix Plus just to help me blend a little bit more once I have all that blended out and looking beautiful. I like to take this uh, airspun loose powder and translucent and you can get this at Walgreens. I got mine at CVS and I like to put a generous amount right under the, uh, the eyes to set the concealer. Also on the chin, top of the lip and on the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this setting powder by Reblon and the shade 30 and I'm going to get a fluffy brush from Real Techniques and set the rest of the skin. I'm going to dust off the chin, the top of the lip and the bridge of the nose but I'm going to leave the powder under the eyes a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and work on her eyebrows using this BH Cosmetics palette, uh, brow palette and I'm gonna use that shade right there to kind of uh, shape her eyebrows. So right after I finish doing the eyebrows, I like to take a concealer. Um, I like to use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer with a MAC uh, concealer brush and just really clean the bottom of the concealer. I don't like doing the top because I like to give it a little bit of a natural feel to it. priming the eyes with that same concealer and blending it out with my finger.
after I do blend that out, I like to go with the Morphe 5350 palette, the original one. And I like to take the two lightest shades in that palette, right at the corner there, and use that to set the concealer so that later on it's easier to blend the eyeshadows up. So now I'm going to go in and give her some color to her face using the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. You can tell this palette has been worn out. I love it so much. I'm going to use those two shades right there and give her some contour and bronze her skin a little bit. So right after that I'm going to use one of my favorite palettes at the moment which is the Jaclyn Hill Big Cat Collaboration Palette and I'm going to use the top two bright blushes and I'm going to mix those two and give her some color to her beautiful cheeks. I bought this palette from Inglot a long time ago in Vegas and I really really enjoy using the top, the top two shades to dust away the extra powder that I had put there before with the Espen and that's just going to give her some a really nice highlights and make the skin look really flawless. I'm going to have every product and all the brushes that I'm using at uh, the description box below. So now going back to the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to use both highlighters and I'm going to start with Champagne Pop. And I'm also going to put um, the other shade, I don't know the name yet, uh, right on top of Champ Champagne Pop. Can I give it that look? So now I'm working on the eyes, I'm going to go back and I'm going to be using the 350 palette and I'm going to use the original Naked palette by Urban Decay to create a very subtle, um, warm, beautiful fall look. I'm going to start with a transition shade and put that all over the crease really blending that out with a Murphy blending brush it's gonna get a little darker so now we're gonna mix two oh the dishes all dancing we're gonna use those other two shades a little bit darker and then a little orangey yellow shade and we're gonna put that right directly on top of where we put the other uh, transition shade and this is just gonna darken up that crease and give us some damage to the Okay, so now going in with the Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm going to use the black shade and I'm going to put that in the outer corner of her eyes, winging it out a little bit. I finish blending out the black I'm going to back to the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to choose the gold shade and with a synthetic flat brush I'm going to just pack that on all over the lid that way the black can kind of tone down a little bit give us a nice sparkle
going to be using one of my favorite eyeliners, and this is the Blackest Black by Maybelline uh, with a MAC eyeliner brush. And I am not going to give her a wing, but I am going to line her um, top lines so that the eyelashes, when I put them on, they can blend a little bit better. These lashes are, I got them on eBay, and they are only a dollar fifty, I believe, from China. They took a really long time to get here, um, but when they did get here and I put them on Melanie, she looked gorgeous, beautiful. I believe this is uh, some type of mink eyelash. I don't really think it's mink. They just say it's mink, but they look beautiful, nice and cheap, and gorgeous. So now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner by Urban Decay and I'm going to uh, put that in the waterline. I don't want to go black because I didn't want it to be too harsh. Um, so I chose a brown eyeliner and I'm going to buff that out using the two shades that we used in the crease on the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to go with the black by Urban Decay and really get that really close to the lashes and blend that out. So this is one of my favorite parts is the inner corner highlight and the brow the brow highlight. I like to use nylon by MAC and really pack that into the inner corner. I love, love, love a very bright shimmery inner corner with mostly all my looks. Um, I'm going to also put a tiny bit of that nylon into the highest point of the brow bone and just blend that out. I will be using Current Lip Pencil by MAC to line her beautiful gorgeous lips and I'm going to go ahead and fill that out with a lip stain from Sephora. Thank you so so much for watching my video. I had an amazing time filming this video for you today. Um, I will try to make more videos but I really hope you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Thank you.